Hello, my name is Dr. Jessie Lee. I'm an optometrist who's passionate about vision therapy and looking to share some of that information with you. I grew up initially in New Jersey. I did my optometry school training at Nova Southeastern University in Florida, and then I did a year specialty training in pediatrics and vision therapy at Southern College of Optometry in Memphis. I'm happy to be back closer to home, now working at Park Slope Eye in Brooklyn, establishing a pediatric and vision therapy practice here. I've chosen to specialize in vision therapy over my career because I've seen firsthand the benefits that it can provide people of all ages to help improve their quality of life. And I'm here to give a little introduction about what exactly vision therapy is and answer some common questions with it. What is vision therapy? Vision therapy is a treatment plan that's prescribed by optometrists that involves supervised activities to help solve visual problems that cannot be improved with glasses or contact lenses alone. Vision therapy shouldn't be thought of as simply eye muscle exercises. Your eye muscles are already quite strong. What vision therapy works on is strengthening the connection between the brain and the eyes to help patients to use their eyes more efficiently and thereby just decrease their symptoms. Areas that can be improved with vision therapy include, but aren't limited to, focusing issues, eye teaming, eye tracking, reversals, and losing place while reading. Who is vision therapy for? Vision therapy can benefit people of all ages. Anyone can improve their visual systems if they're given the chance. There are certain conditions that will see greater improvements and require vision therapy to get to a more normal quality of life. Those conditions would be things such as eye turns, convergence insufficiency, having double vision, and other issues like that. Even elite athletes though with superb visual systems will still go into vision therapy to gain a competitive edge. The benefits of vision therapy will depend on the specific diagnosis and course of treatment, but some of the general things to, uh, that will patients will report after vision therapy is improved depth perception, hand-eye coordination, better peripheral awareness, an easier time while reading, being able to read faster while getting better comprehension. At what age is your child ready for vision therapy? This will vary on a case-by-case -case basis. In order for in-office vision therapy to be effective, the child needs to be able to communicate throughout the exam what they're experiencing on each activity. This can range depending on the patient and the condition being treated, but generally vision therapy would be most effective starting no earlier than four. In cases where a patient would require vision therapy even younger, there are certain home activities that your doctor can discuss to enforce the concepts at home before they're old enough for a full in-office regimen. Will insurance cover vision therapy? That will depend on the case-by-case -case basis based on what your individual insurance plan is, as well as the doctor you're seeking treatment with. In general, vision therapy will not be covered fully by your medical insurance, but some medical insurance will provide partial reimbursement. What happens during each vision therapy session? In each session, your patient will work one-on-one -on -one with either an optometrist or a trained vision therapist going over several activities in office. These office can use props such as different lenses, colored filters, balance activities, and some computer programs. At the end of the session, the optometrist or therapist will then discuss with you what the home activities would be before next week's session. How long will a patient have to be in vision therapy? That will depend on the specific diagnosis, in general, most therapy sessions will last at least 10 weekly sessions, and some can go up to 40. There are certain cases as well that parents find that they like to keep their child in vision therapy even longer because they understand the benefits and they always feel there's even more area to improve on.
When should you start seeing results from vision therapy? Success is dependent on patient compliance and motivation, so this can vary from case to case. Generally, initial changes are reported within 8 to 12 weeks. It is also common that as vision therapy works within a patient's challenge zone, for after the first few sessions to see a slight increase in symptoms as adaptations they've made are broken down. Can vision therapy be done at home? For best results, in-office vision therapy is going to be the main course of action. Optometrists and vision therapists go through extensive training to make sure that they're able to coach patients through each procedure and make sure they're getting the most out of each activity. Along with vision therapy, there will be home activities to reinforce what's done in office. Also, after completing a full course of vision therapy, your optometrist or vision therapist will recommend a home maintenance program to make sure that the patient stays on track after finishing. Can vision therapy be done in school? Presently, vision therapy is not a service offered by most schools. Vision therapy requires a trained optometrist and vision therapist to be able to execute each activity effectively. If a school was able to hire an optometrist and vision therapist, then it would be an option. What is the difference between occupational therapy and vision therapy? Both occupational therapy and vision therapy work from a developmental standpoint, so there is a lot of crossover between the two types of therapy. Within vision therapy, you'll find that your child may be working on some balance activities and motor control that's also done in occupational therapy. In occupational therapy, your child might have some visual tracking activities done similar to vision therapy. While the two therapies complement each other, one does not entirely replace the other type of therapy but being within both therapies will enforce, reinforce the total effects over time. Can vision therapy help with reading? Reading is generally the most difficult subject for patients with vision difficulties. While vision therapy doesn't necessarily teach reading skills, the goal of vision therapy is to relieve the visual stress placed on each patient while they're reading, and over time lead to faster reading speeds with better comprehension. What are common vision symptoms experienced after concussion and how can vision therapy help them? After a concussion or any type of brain injury, patients often experience blurred vision, even with glasses or contact lenses, double vision, and dizziness. Vision therapy can help retrain the brain to get back to a state that that patient had prior to their injury. Why can't all vision problems be improved with glasses or contact lenses? Glasses and contact lenses improve image clarity alone. Many vision problems can still occur despite a patient having 20-20 vision at distance and up close. Things like double vision, loss of place while reading, and reversal issues are things that vision therapy will work on. Vision therapy is working on training the brain to use the eyes more efficiently. Is there evidence that vision therapy works? Absolutely. One of the major studies is called the CITT study, Convergence Insufficiency Treatment Trial. And this found an improvement of symptoms in 75% of patients with in-office therapy. In addition to official studies being done, the best way to know about how vision therapy works is to talk to a patient or a parent of somebody who's gone through vision therapy. There's many stories, websites, and books being written about parents that want to spread the message of how effective vision therapy can be. How do I know if my child needs vision therapy? This requires a comprehensive eye exam and sometimes a perceptual exam done by a developmental optometrist who specializes in vision therapy. Often a teacher or an occupational therapist that was with your child throughout the day and notices learning problems may recommend further testing, but it will be the developmental optometrist that will make the decision on vision therapy and what type of treatment is necessary for that child. Why have I never heard about 
vision therapy before? Is it something new? Vision therapy has been around since the time of modern optometry. As the scope of practice for optometry expanded to, improve, and to include more medical side of things, within the curriculum, some of the training in vision therapy and binocular vision was cut out. As a result of that, it's only about 10% of optometrists that specialize in this area right now. How can I find a doctor that specializes in vision therapy close to me? You can go to certain websites online and enter your address to find a doctor close to you. Two ones to go to are covd.org or oepf.org. Both have great tools that will give you a variety of doctors close by. Is there a certain age past which vision therapy is no longer effective? Absolutely not. Patients of all ages can benefit from vision therapy. Some conditions can be fixed easier and with less effort at a younger age, but with a proper motivated patient, there's always room for improvement. Why should I choose vision therapy over strabismus surgery for my child's eye turn? Strabismus surgery's primary goal is a cosmetic outcome. They want the child to end up with straight looking eyes. Even though the eyes are straight, generally from the changes made during surgery, they don't function together anymore. It's important for both eyes to work together to have things like depth perception, to be able to adjust focus when going from distance to near, and to have proper eye tracking. Vision therapy works on retraining the brain to help your child learn to use both eyes together better and by which the eyes then look more straight. 